Okay, so this is uh, the last talk before the break of this section. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it will be presented by Alexander Petrovsky. Uh, and it will be on a parallel English, Serbian, Bulgarian, Macedonian lexicon of named entities. Please go on. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, my name is Alexander Petrovsky, coming from the International Slavic University in Sveti Nikola, North Macedonia. And uh, uh, the title is A Parallel English, Serbian, Bulgarian, Macedonian Lexicon of Named Entities. One thing uh, should be added to uh, the title immediately. Uh, uh, it is about named entities extracted from Wikipedia. So we are talking here about a multilingual parallel lexicon of named entities extracted from Wikipedia. This is the outline. Uh, first, uh, as an introduction, I will give a simple definition of named entities, some examples, and uh, uh, I will uh, say something about Wikipedia as a, a source for uh, lexical resources. Uh, then I will say something which is specific for these four Wikipedias or four editions of Wikipedia. Uh, we are talking about here. Uh, then I will describe the uh, method of uh, uh, obtaining, uh, for obtaining uh, such a lexicon. Uh, then uh, something about the lexicon itself and in the end is conclusion. We are talking here about named entities. So one of many definitions of named entities it ref refers to expressions describing objects like persons, locations, organizations. Named entities are often denoted by proper names. Definitely uh, proper names and named entities are not synonyms, but most of the named entities are uh, proper uh, names. Examples include United States, Paris, Google, Mercedes-Benz, Bill Gates, and many others, of course. So uh, we can uh, notice here that uh, a classification could be done. So Paris is definitely a location. Google or Google Incorporation is an organization. Mercedes-Benz is a product. And Bill Gates is definitely a person, OK? Uh, next, uh, I will say something about uh, named entities in natural language processing. So one of the main tasks of, uh, one of the first tasks of uh, natural language processing is uh, identification or recognition of named entities and their classification. Uh, okay. Something uh, general about Wikipedia or Wikipedia is a source. Uh, I'm definitely not the first one here in this conference who used Wikipedia as a source because uh, yes, at least yesterday, there were a couple of uh, papers really uh, related to Wikipedia or that used Wikipedia as a source. Uh, here, uh, I'm talking about Wikipedia as a source of named entities. Uh, it is ve a very rich source of named entities since um, uh, researchers have found that around 74% of Wikipedia pages describe named entities. So uh, the titles of Wikipedia articles are uh, named entities, mostly named entities themselves. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, uh, since uh, manual annotation uh, and so on uh, is very um, uh, time consuming and expensive, some methods that use uh, that uh, uh, that are uh, uh, automatical or semi-automatical are obviously welcome. Uh, so I will say now something about uh, four Wikipedia editions we are talking about here. So the first one uh, and the first uh, Wikipedia edition was definitely uh, the English. Wikipedia, which uh, started uh, in January 2001. 
as the first Wikipedia, and it is, of course, written in Latin alphabet. But all of three uh, other Wikipedias we are talking about here, means Serbian, Bulgarian, and Macedonian, are written in Cyrillic script. Uh, there are some excuses. Uh, uh, there are some exceptions, sorry, uh, but um, especially uh, on Ser in Serbian Wikipedia, since uh, the official alphabet in Serbia is Cyrillic, but the Latin alphabet is also another official alphabet, but on Serbian Wikipedia, the vast majority of articles are written in Cyrillic. So we can freely say that uh, the whole uh, Serbian Wikipedia is written in Cyrillic. And uh, all of three South Slavic Wikipedias uh, started in 2003. Uh, Wikimedia Foundation, which is uh, owner of Wikipedia, uh, regularly publishes on internet uh, metadata about uh, all uh, Wikipedia editions. Uh, and uh, some other data uh, that uh, some parameters, uh, values of some parameters that describe the size of Wikipedias and their Wikipedia quality. And uh, here we use four uh, parameters. First, number of articles, which is the most obvious one, most obvious parameter. Then total number of pages, similar, which is more or less proportional to the number of articles. It's, Article plus user pages, images, stock pages, project pages, categories, and templates. Then number of active users, very important parameters. This is registered users who performed at least one change in the last 30 days. Uh, and in the end, depth. Uh, it is a rough indicator of the collaborative quality of Wikipedia, which shows how often articles are updated. Uh, be uh, now I will uh, emphasize immediately that it is not about the quality of the texts or scientific quality of Wikipedia texts. It's just about uh, Wikipedia quality, or collaborative quality, number of, number of links, and so on and so on. Uh, so uh, this is situation on April first, two thousand twenty-two. It is uh, relatively fresh. Uh, so number of articles uh, on English Wikipedia is more than 6 million. And it is the far the largest and uh, by size, the, uh, the largest uh, Wikipedia on uh, or largest Wikipedia edition. Uh, Serbian Wikipedia was uh, uh, 657,000 plus, Bulgarian 280,000 plus, and Macedonian one, 126,000 plus. Uh, number of active users, I will skip the number of pages because I, um, I um, have already mentioned that it is very much related to the number of articles. Number of active users uh, on uh, English Wikipedia is 127,000 uh, plus. Uh, users, I will uh, remind you that active users is uh, the user who made a change or made a contribution to the Wikipedia in the last 30 days. And uh, Serbian active users are 868, 70, 100 plus of Bulgarian users and 200 plus number of Macedonian users. And the depth, it's just, I will, uh, 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 say once again, it is about uh, Wikipedia quality of the articles, not scientific quality, is uh, more than 1,000 uh, English Wikipedia, 156 Serbian, 27 Bulgarian, and 88 Macedonian. Uh, so uh, next, I will uh, say something about the method. So Wikipedia database dump can be freely downloaded in SQL and XML formats. For those of you who are not uh, in informatics, SQL is a database script. It is a text file which can be uh, opened uh, by any uh, text editor. And the XML more or less, I, I think you, 
know what it is, XML format. We'll have some uh, uh, examples of uh, uh, lexical entries in XML format later on. Uh, so uh, uh, using this uh, database dump, I created a Python application that uh, extracted or is able to extract automatically from this database dump on a multilingual lexicon of named entities. And then uh, classification is done by the application also, but the classification is done using uh, the English Wikipedia category system. So uh, later on, I will uh, uh, describe the steps in more detail. I will repeat it once again. So this is a flow chart. Uh, first, uh, uh, parallel titles, not title pairs. Title pairs are for bilingual lexical. This is uh, four languages here. There are four languages here. So. Uh, title um, parallel titles. I extract for, uh, parallel titles from uh, with English as a first language, then filter out irrelevant title uh, pairs. Okay, I will say title pairs. Then uh, classify the remaining title pairs using the English Wikipedia category system, filter out title pairs classified as non-named entities, and in the end, convert the resulting data into CSV and XML formats. So to extract parallel titles from uh, uh, Wikipedia, uh, we need two tables from a Wikipedia database. One table is called a uh, table of pages and another one is table of interlanguage links. So uh, uh, we use these two tables to extract parallel titles from uh, uh, different editions of Wikipedia. And it is not a very difficult programming task to do it. It's relatively straightforward. Okay, next, filter out irrelevant uh, parallel titles. The extracted parallel titles from the previous step contain a lot of noise. Where uh, does this uh, noise, noise come from? Uh, first, the program removes uh, all the titles that don't belong to the main template, main template or category namespaces. Uh, second, there are titles containing some words or word stamps that increase the noise and should be filtered out. And uh, in the end, uh, there are some uh, uh, entries that could not be part of any lexicon, like usernames, nicknames, template names, etc. Okay. Uh, then I will uh, go to the third step. I think it uh, brings uh, most uh, value to uh, the lexicon. It is about classification. Uh, to do the classification, the uh, algorithm uh, uses uh, the English Wikipedia category system. And that is why uh, if you want to have uh, uh, your uh, named entities classified, you have to include the English Wikipedia uh, in order to classify uh, the named entities. So, uh, uh, the category system of Wikipedia is very, com very complicated, very much, very much complicated. And uh, uh, what is the, the main trouble? It is cyclic, which means you can go with the algorithm through different levels of uh, categorization. And then what can happen? You go back to the, to the top, for example, and you can easily, uh, you can easily uh, enter an endless loop. Okay, uh, then uh, here, there are five classes uh, I have chosen. First is person, organize, uh, second organization, location, product, and in the end, at the end, uh, miscellaneous or misc. And each named entity belongs to at least one of these classes. These are, uh, uh, what uh, uh, keywords I use to uh, create the application. So uh, organization, these are political organizations, companies, schools, rock bands, sports team, etc. Uh, person, human, humans, God, saints, fictional characters, location, 
geographical terms, fictional places, cosmic terms, products, it's industri uh, industrial products, software products, weapons, and so on and so on. And miscellaneous is everything else. Uh, step four, filter out parallel titles classified as non-named entities. Uh, there are uh, some articles on Wikipedia with, uh, with uh, titles that are not named entities. For example, like biological species and substances. They are very common on Wikipedia, but they're not included in the lexicon. And in the end, at the end, the uh, uh, program converts the resulting data into CSV and Excel format. This is an example of the lexical entry. So, if I can, Sophia. So, uh, uh, Sophia in English, Sophia, Sophia, Sophia in three South Slavic languages, very similar one to another. And uh, classification. Uh, Sofia, capital of Bulgaria, uh, Bulgaria it's, it is a location. So these are the number of uh, uh, titles included in the lexicon. 400,000 plus from uh, English Wikipedia and 200,000 uh, plus from Serbian, Bulgarian and Macedonian, 100,000 uh, titles. Uh, we are talking about classes. Uh, the most numerous class is uh, location. So there are more, mostly locations in uh, Wikipedia. Altogether, uh, this figure, 407,000, is slightly higher than the number of entries, since some of these uh, uh, titles belong to more than one class. This is an example. It's uh, Lexical entry, Bulgarian Academy of Sciences. Three translation from South Slavic languages. And uh, this uh, lexical entry belongs to two uh, classes. First is organization, B Bulgarian Academy as an organization. And second is location, is the building we are, where we had uh, this wonderful dinner yesterday night. Uh, this is an example where we have blank, okay. It's a lexical entry, Mark Anthony. We'll, have, we'll see then uh, we have translation for Bulgarian and Serbian, but we don't have translation for Macedonian language. Why? Because probably there is no uh, article about Mark Anthony in uh, uh, Macedonian language. And uh, this is an example of, uh, of the lexicon in uh, uh, Excel view. So we have uh, uh, lexical entries beginning with the word Sofia and different uh, 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 and translation in Serbian, Bulgarian, Macedonian. We can see that we have blanks in some of our cells. And at the end, uh, it is the uh, classification for location. It is uh, one for Sofia because Sofia is a location. And uh, at the end, uh, I would say something about the evaluation of uh, the classification. I tried to evaluate the classification or uh, how does the algorithm make uh, the classification. And uh, uh, I chose randomly 100 entries from the lexicon and uh, manually uh, checked the uh, classification and compared it to the uh, classification done by the algorithm. So for precision, we have altogether about 97%. And uh, for recall, we have uh, 90%. Why? Because uh, the algorithm would, uh, was adjusted to be precise, not to gather as many named entities from Wikipedia as uh, possible. OK? And as a conclusion, I will repeat something uh, I have already said. I will not mention. Uh, uh, say something what is written here about the importance of named entity recognition and classification. This is a, a fully automatic uh, method of uh, gathering named entities and creating lexicon from Wikipedia titles. It is language independent. 
Uh, it is language independent and no language expertise is required to create such lexicon since it is uh, fully automatic. Thank you very much for your attention.